Hey there guys, Still Plays the Trains here, and today I bring you 1225 Part 2. As you can see from this picture, all of my parts from Bachman have arrived, and they will now be put on the locomotive. I apologize for the upload being so late, I've just had so much stuff happening right now that it's been very hard to get this series done, but now I should be back on track, pun intended, to get the rest of the series up and running. In this episode, we will be covering all the modifications that need to be done to the locomotive itself. The first step that needs to be completed is unscrewing and removing the tender. The next step is to remove the pilot and trailing trucks. This allows you to be able to unscrew the underbody of the locomotive, allowing yourself to get into the gearbox. This cover will now be unscrewed and removed. This next step requires a small screwdriver. Take this screwdriver and unscrew the side coupling rods from the driving wheels of the locomotive. This will allow you to take the driving wheels off. I will now place the new set of driving wheels into place. It is very important that the driving wheels are lined up correctly, or else the chuffing noises made from the locomotive will no longer be in the correct spots. Line up the side connecting rods, and put the screw back in that holds them in place. Now that the drive wheel rig has been completed, you can now attach your new driving and pilot wheels to the locomotive. That's it for this episode, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for part three, where we will show the entire rebuild and modification to 1225's tender.